let's move on and we're going to discuss uh, a grammar topic now which is called as phonominal verbs phonominal verbs are actually categorized into four sub categories and we're going to discuss them one by one first is reflexive second is uh, reciprocal then we have uh, passive phenomenal and then we have subjective phenomenal okay so these are the four categories of phenomenal verbs so let's begin with reflexive reflexive verbs so these are the verbs where action is performed okay action is performed by the subject on itself by the subject on itself have you guys heard of this verb so love yes get up to get up right now what's difference here if you think this is infinitive this is infinitive right but this is a slightly different infinitive than what we have studied so far you guys remember infinitive can you guys give give me examples of infinitive that we have studied so far pahle monje ha etudie all of these are infinitive infinitive right but this is also infinitive but it's slightly different because it's phenomenal phenomenal verbs the infinitive will appear like this so reflexive pronoun so so love okay this is where you understand that this is not a normal verb it's a phenomenal verb and here it is reflexive so love it means to get up explicit meaning is to get up oneself so if the explicit meaning will be to get up oneself okay so it's like you are on bed and you move your body get up your body from the bed on the floor that is why it is reflexive because the action is performed by the subject on itself okay so now let's look at the present tense conjugations present tense conjugation for this so love so the present tense conjugations are jama lev hmm? tu te lev hmm? il el on se lev then we have nu nu lavo hmm? then we have vu vu lave lave hmm? and then we have il el salev why is this exo grav you guys remember this consonant yeah, yeah this was yeah. one of those ashate like that remember yes so jama lev tu te lev il el on salev nu nu lavo vu vu lave and il el salev so here what is different nusrat what is different usually we have conjugated quite a few verbs what is different here so uh, we are adding uh, like jo me te se but mo to mo, sorry so. mo to so so yeah you are right we have this extra things this is so in this particular conjugation this is first part is what is it ashwarya first part this thing subject pronoun it is subject pronoun right like we always had what is this part it is reflexive pronoun this is reflexive pronoun and this is actually verb conjugation okay so we have this extra thing because it's a phenomenal verb we have this reflexive pronouns ma ta sa nu vu sa this will be fixed okay so ma ta sa nu vu sa these are the reflexive pronouns we call them as reflexive pronoun this is first person singular second person singular third person singular first person plural second person plural and third person plural this can also be used for second person singular this can be used for second person singular if given respect in formal situation yeah you don't know first person second person third person yeah i think i know <laughs> i'm so bad okay. at terminology that's not going to help you if you don't care about remembering the name then yeah welcome to the french confusion you will be like what is what i don't know mo is here mo is there mo is everywhere i am done i am quitting so my advice advice not compulsion is when we teach we teach like this clarity utmost clarity what is this subject pronoun what is this reflexive pronoun why there is a reflexive pronoun because we are conjugating a reflexive verb and then what is this verb conjugation clear yep okay i get up i get up getting... okay uh, i get up you get up he mm-hmm. she get up uh, get up uh, we get up we get up or we are getting you up you get both. up we are getting up yeah mm-hmm. you get up 
generally Eight. first first usage of you is to you all you all yeah you all get up and then second usage of who is the second person singular with respect but always remember that first usage of this is you all and they, they get up they get up can i say it? i uh, i am getting up myself or uh, you are getting up yourself if you want yes when you say i get up it is sufficient to say that you are getting up i mean unless you are your uh, wife lifts you and you know carries you out right so generally i get up means you get up yourself it doesn't have to be said explicitly but if it helps you do remember that. this fun yeah sure okay. sure if you want to do that do that okay but when i say i get up i understand that i get up myself because you know i don't have like five uh, servants like you have we have another one like that sir revaiye hmm do you guys know what is sir revaiye uh, means to wake to up to get out of bed to, to wake, wake up. up to wake up okay first you do sir revaiye then you check your instagram for 15 minutes and then you do sir lave theek hai nanda okay got it do you do that do you check instagram or phone after waking up yes i do <laughs> Okay. So I, knew, I knew I knew it. Okay. So this is wake up to get up. Now, let's conjugate this very quickly so as to get hang of stuff in present tense. Hmm. Jama revaiye. Jama revaiye. Ah, jama revaiye. Tu ta revaiye. Itna. Q ta revaiye. Hmm. Then E L L O S so revaiye. S so revaiye. Hmm. Nu nu revaiyo. वो वो रवैये एल एल स रवैये कूल नाउ नाउ सी द थिंग हियर इज दैट व्हाट डज इट मीन अक्षता कैन यू ट्रांसलेट वेरी क्विकली दिस कंजुगेशंस आई वेक अप यू वेक अप ही शी वी वेक अप दिस इज अगेन वी वेक अप यू और यू ऑल वेक अप या एंड देन दे वेक अप दे वेक अप एवरीबॉडी गुड विद दिस या मनोज in this conjugation what is what can you tell me what is what okay the hmm. premier vu a uh, subject pronoun subject pronoun mm hmm a dusium vu a dusium nahi hota the d u x is dusium okay mm hmm dusium vu a reflexive pronoun reflexive pronoun mm hmm Mm, and this is verb conjugation. Verb conjugation. If you see this, if you take out this uh, reflexive pronoun, this is a regular ear ending verb. Yeah. Right, like pale, monje, donse, same, right? Yeah. Now, now the another thing to understand here is that this means to wake up, and if if you want self, you can say to wake up oneself. If you if it helps you to remember that way, because it's reflexive. what does it mean as i said the translate to to wake up okay implicitly what does it mean to wake up oneself you wake up right but this action can also be performed on somebody else like sometimes your uh, wife for those who are married uh, says that hey husband go wake up the kids they are getting late for school go wake up go wake them up right so you can say j Revaiye Monfils, je revaiye Monfils. What's the change here, Kira Manoj? What is the change here? Yeah, now it has become like a normal verb. Je revaiye. Yeah, then, hmm. it's a normal verb. It is not any more reflexive. Why it is not reflexive? Because the subject is not performing the action on itself. The subject is performing the action on object, which is in this case happens to be his son. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. so this happens lot of these verbs you can see for example i give you another instance of such thing